Well, where we had left off yesterday was we were talking about, uh, at the very end, uh, that the investigation for Mr. Assange's case didn't follow procedure, recommended procedure for sex crimes. Um, and uh, Mr. Rudling had brought up the example of the fact that um, um, normally uh, it's recommended that you actually record with videotape, if you can, the exact words of the plaintiff, because in a cases like rape, uh, it's only the words really that you can rely on. Um, sure. So uh, perhaps you could tell me, um, and we could start off our discussion this evening, um, what the circumstances were that actually brought the two of them to the police station, and, uh, and, and what happened from that point forward, as you understand it. Okay. What's, it's difficult to say exactly what brought them together. Uh, Anna, in her statement, if we, if we base our argument on that, she says she was contacted by Sophia in the morning of Friday the 20th. Uh, the reason Sophia contacted Anna because she wanted to get in contact with Julian, because she had something to tell him. So Anna called Sophia and Finally, she found out that Sophia had had sex with Julian, and then circumstances, etc., etc. Later that day, or after that conversation, Sophia went to a hospital, and finally ended up went to a second hospital, and and uh, went underwent a rape investigation. And then the two girls got together to go to the police station, and. That's basically what happened before the police station. Uh, Anna doesn't say anything in her police interview about the conversation with Sophia. She's, she's for some reason withholding all that. Uh, and she doesn't even, she doesn't mention that part freely. She's asked, when she's asked about the, when she's asked by the police uh, about her relationship, then she gives the information. So to me, it seems like Anna is, Anna knows that if she started to talk about what she and Sophia had talked about, it would incriminate her. But anyway, when they come to the police station, the reason they go there, according to Sophia, is that she was worried about uh, catching HIV and she wanted Julian to take a test. When they come to the police station, very quickly, both girls go into and talk about what has happened to them and that both are victims of rape. And as it happens, as it looks like, it's, it's when Sophia is talking to the police officer, uh, Anna interjects a sentence, and, and she's, this is according to Donald Bostrom's interview. Anna interjects a sentence, that, and she basically says something like this. Uh, I had a similar experience. When I had sex with Julian, he destroyed the condom, and then he continued to have sex with me against my want, against my wishes. That's why the police all of a sudden realized that Anna is a victim of rape too. Uh, Anna says this just in order to, to increase the credibility of Sophia's story. She doesn't understand that she is actually saying something that the police thinks is a serious offense and that the police starts to investigate later. Can I, so that's, can I just stop so, you right there with yeah. that statement? Because I, I want to make sure that people who are listening understand where you're making that statement from. So when you say that she wanted to say that to support Sophia, uh, if, I hadn't, if I hadn't read the, the witness statements, I might think that you're putting sort of, you're reading her mind. Uh, where are you basing that on? It's, I'm basing it on Donald Bostrom's uh, statement because, because what he says on a number of occasions, there are so many weird things in what Arna is telling him. So he remembers it clearly. He says something like he remembers this uh, word for word because it was, it was so strange. For instance, he says when she talks about somebody breaking a condom, I have never heard about somebody being accused of breaking a condom during sex. And when Donald heard it the first time, he said, it's so weird, it's so weird, so I remember this very, very clearly. 
I mean, to, to use a condom or to take off a condom, that's okay. But to break a condom during sex, that is something you remember because that's, you, you haven't heard it before. So that's Basically, what, that's what yeah. I mean. You're saying that you're basing this um, um, opinion, uh, but it's based on all the witness statements, and in, in particular that particular witness statement. Yeah. Um, and can I just sort of backtrack a little bit? That time when Sophia and Anna went to the police station, that was um, recorded as a, I believe the Swedish word is concept for whole. Yes. But it's, and, no, no, it's not. When they were at the police station, uh, it's it's police. Are met, when the police is taking the report, that's not an interview. Concept for her. That's an interview which ends up in a summary. Yeah, but was a summary taken of of, of that um, when Anna and uh, Sophia went to the police station? Was that a summary? Um, no. That's not was, a summary. That's Is that recorded? No. Uh, Wasn't this, recorded. Is the, uh, this is the unfortunate thing. When when the two girls went there to, to make the complaint, it's just it just ends up as a complaint. And it also ended up in a memorandum from, from, from the response of a police officer. And and no. uh, that's so it's actually what you have to do in order to find out what happened, you have to speak to the police officer in charge, that was Linda Vassgren, because he, so, so, so what happens actually, when Linda Vassgren met these two girls, she f understood very quickly there was something about rape, because that's what both people said, they claimed they have been raped. Then she spoke to them individually, and then at some time when they, was, when they were talking about Sophia's case, then Anna interjected this sentence. And there is a long conversation with Donald uh, about this particular thing because it's, it's just this interjection of a sentence that makes the case uh, become important and that makes the case that, that the police go after Junior because they think all of a sudden two women are uh, victims of rape and it's just the same guy, the serial rapist Junior Assange. And, and the police went after Julian Assange that night as a result of this um, interview, you could say. Yes, yes. And, so it's, and, and you can yeah. see then, uh, this is the normal process. When you hear about rape, you instantly do something in order to... Uh, you want to interview the guy as quickly as possible before he has had a chance to influence witnesses before he had a chance to come up with a story, before he had a chance to speak to a lawyer, how he should present himself, etc., etc., etc. Let's talk about that for a second, because Anna actually, you know, deletes tweets, uh, calls uh, one of the witnesses uh, that were uh, witnesses presented in, in the testimony available, uh, to, you know, where you can find online, uh, you know, calls, uh, calls this gentleman up, I think it's Donald, and says, you know, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I, I, I'm a paraphrasing. I've, I've had sexual intercourse with Julian, even though I told you differently. Yeah. And, uh, um, and the condom broke. Did she say that to him? Yes. Yes, that's at right. You that just time, mentioned that. Sorry. That time. Um, and, and according to Donna, this conversation, the first conversation with Anna, is actually on Thursday. So Donna is saying, she, he first heard about that, Anna's sex with Julian on Thursday. He then also heard about Sophia on Thursday. Petra Ornstein uh, also says something to the effect that Anna was aware of Sophia already on Thursday. So it looks like it looks like Anna knew about Sophia on Thursday, and that is probably the reason why she didn't stay at home with Julian on Thursday. Just teasing a few things out of that, um, Goran, if you could just perhaps assist me here uh, and the viewers. Um, that interview, when they first went to the police station, should that have been video recorded? It's when you go to the police station to make a police report, uh, it's, that isn't videoed and it shouldn't be videoed. And I haven't seen any 
recommendation how that should be done. It's the at, what point, hmm. it's at what point? At what point should... Sorry, go ahead. What police procedure says is when you are interviewing a witness of sexual crimes, then it should be video recorded. I mean, it's when the police interview. When Sofia was interviewed by Irma, Irma Lee Kranz later on that particular Friday, that interview should have been video documented or at least tape recorded. Yeah. But because it wasn't, it wasn't yeah. From, it, from our perspective, um, if two complainants go to a police station, one is a support person and the other person being the alleged victim, as soon as the police find out, for example, that both of these people that have come to the police station might have been the victims of the crime, the first thing they would do is completely separate them so that their evidence would not be contaminated. Now, that would be the same situation in Sweden, would it not? That, that is exactly what happened. I mean, they were separated and talked to, not interviewed. They just were talked to in order to find out is there is is there a complaint and and how shall we proceed? Okay. So that that was happened, but that particular in, that's that's not an interview, a formal interview. That is just what I don't know what you call it, the term. It, it's just a preliminary mm -hmm. question, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. And and it and what happened then? It's at at some time when both females were.